Hi, everyone, and welcome to Book Banter with Amy and me, Taylor. Um, we're in person again. Yes. <laughs> um, for this bout of Book Banter, we read Pieces of Me by Kate McLaughlin, um, which you can find in the library as a physical book. Um, we also have it as an e-audio and e-book on Libby. Yeah. Um, Let's talk about okay. what this book is about. So this book follows Dylan, who is our main character. And it starts off with her waking up and not knowing where she's been. Wakes up somewhere she doesn't know and realizes that she has lost the last three days. Mm -hmm. And this is really a book about her journey, kind of discovering what is going on with her. Uh, she thinks it could be physical reasons, maybe mental reasons. And it is her journey to finding out that uh, she gets a diagnosis of uh, dissociative identity disorder. Right. And her basically journey going through the trauma and kind of coming out on the other side for sure so a little bit different than what we're used to reading as far as yeah. no kidnapping spoiler alert <laughs> technically she was a missing person for like a little bit at the beginning i guess and so um taylor and i both read this book we have to do our thumbs up and our thumbs down taylor are you ready i'm ready are you ready i'm ready okay, okay. three two one okay double I'm, thumbs doing, up. I'm doing double thumbs but like one and a half. It's fine. Okay. I, I really liked this book. Yeah? It was a wild ride from start to finish. It really is. I think the first thing I, I feel like I have to mention is the uh, author's note in the beginning. Because mm -hmm. it does discuss uh, things that could be triggering. Yes. And some of the more um, kind of older themes, adult themes, mm -hmm. that is in this YA book. Yeah, for so. sure. Definitely check that out before reading it, just in case mm -hmm. some of this could be uh, affecting you while you read it. For but. sure. And I definitely, since you brought it up, I feel like for me, like there's that fine line between YA and like new adult. Mm -hmm. I definitely feel like like she's in college in this book and she's not, you know, in high school. I definitely wouldn't call it a teen book, but like YA in the true sense, I would definitely say it fits. Mm -hmm. But I think it it borders the line between YA and new adult. Yeah, I believe she's 19 yes. and she is in college. And it, there is just a lot of things that happen in this book a that could be very heavy. difficult. Yeah, yes. it's it's a heavy book. It, I mean, it was entertaining as well, but it was also mm -hmm. really heavy. Absolutely. Um, oh, man. What well, did you think of the pacing of this book? Did did you have to keep reading it? I did find myself, I kept picking up anytime I had like a minute, but there were some parts where I like had to put it down and I had to be like, okay, that's enough for now. Like I need to take a break. Absolutely. I was kind of the same way. I listened to oh, this okay. and I felt like uh, the moments in which Dylan was really stressed out also caused me to stress out. So mm -hmm. I think that's just a good reader yeah. uh, for the audiobook, but also that Kate Malaughlin is a really good writer because yeah. I was kind of feeling what Dylan was feeling to mm -hmm. some extent. Absolutely. And yeah, there were moments in which I was like, I need to not have it be so heavy. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. I think that the author did a great job of like putting you in that mind space, you know, getting you to feel what Dylan was feeling. Um, and even like her alters at some points, like you mm -hmm. really they all had very distinct voices um which makes sense yes. but um i think the author did a great job at putting that into place absolutely so i i feel like i learned so much about dissociative identity disorder mm -hmm, i feel sure. like i knew very little of kind of what i've seen on youtube right and i i liked that i got to learn more about it there mm -hmm. was so many positive supporting characters in this book so that great. really helped Dylan and mm -hmm. kind of didn't shame her or didn't say like, oh, you're lying. Like it right, was a really right. like support. Like, how can we help you? Yeah. I, I loved that. And I feel like I just, I learned so much and the author talks about at the end of the book that yeah. 
you know, sh she does not have it, but she did a lot of a research. A lot of research, yeah, for sure. And I like that she kind of took accountability. She's like, if there's any, like, mistakes in this book, it's all on me and not, like, the interviews she did and Absolutely. all the research. And she did have a list at the end. I don't know if it um, had it in the... Um... It did. Okay. Yeah, there's a list of, like, books that she used to research dissociative identity disorder, but then also, like, the YouTube channel she watched, which were very interesting, and I do want to check those out i'm like that's really interesting to have that platform to talk about this thing that is so like it wasn't nobody believed it was a real thing for so yeah, long the stigma and the stigma around yeah. you know it and kind of disproving those mm -hmm. ideas i yeah. i really appreciated that for sure me too i really loved like you said the way that um the characters in her life supported her but i also mm -hmm. loved like the realistic portrayal of maybe the the person that did not yes. support her what was her name i forget the character that kaz yeah uh, kind of I, yeah with. um i don't remember but there was a character that one of her ulcers alters had created like a relationship with that like when dylan found out what she had and explained it to her she was like you're messed up like that's not true why are you saying uh -huh. this like if you are just trying to get out of this relationship like whatever You're but right. the whole time she's saying this is when dylan's like literally in a psychiatric hospital I, that for was tough. care and i'm like yes. how could you not like given the setting i know but yeah it it was tough i did like uh her mother was mm -hmm. a great character yeah. as well as her twin brother mark and then yes. her best friend lily yes i think we're all just really interesting characters i feel like mark's struggle was very real of mm -hmm. having to understand that this is happening and um not being right away like gun ho like mm -hmm. hey i i understand this like he was going through his own journey which i think right. was important yeah, and like in in the beginning, we learn that Dylan has had some issues with like alcoholism in her past, um, and a lot of that Mark attributes to like wanting to be the center of attention yeah. and like why do you always have to do this? And every anytime I have something going on, you always have something to have to derail it with. But um, I I thought the dynamic with the whole family was very interesting, mm -hmm. um, especially since her mother is like a semi famous actress in the book, and her yeah. father is a director producer, yeah. and it was a very interesting look into this side of like life yeah um it also made me i was really into like psychiatric hospital books when i was a teenager <laughs> okay and so like this very much reminded me of a book that i read um many times when i was younger called kissing doorknobs which is about um obsessive compulsive disorder okay um and of course to find out like i don't know what's happening to me but i know something's happening to me and i need to figure out what it is yeah um so it's told very similarly to that style which i appreciated yeah this book is definitely a contemporary but there is mm -hmm. a lot more going on i think at the beginning it's kind of a mystery kind of sus oh, yeah. suspenseful in the fact that it's very much contained within mm -hmm. Dylan herself. For sure. But I think a lot of readers could be interested in this book just for learning more about mm -hmm. DID. And yeah. Yeah, I definitely, I mean, like we said, the author doesn't really, is not affected by this disorder, but I think she did a great job at like exploring it within this book. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I I enjoyed it for sure. Yeah. Okay, so both Taylor and I read Pieces of Me by Kate McLaughlin. Uh, like Taylor said, you can get a physical copy at our library branches at PLYMC, as well as getting the ebook and e audiobook on Libby. Thank you, Taylor. This is so fun to be back in person. I know, I love it. <laughs> Alrighty, we will see you later. Bye. Bye. The boy is over. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't want to give away too many yeah. spoilers. And Perry realizes that she could tease Pauline about it. Yeah. She's like, you know what? There's there's more important things happening yeah. right now. And I was like, mm -hmm. good for you. Yeah. I had like a very mom moment. Yeah. I was like, I'm proud of you. Yes. Um, Who else? Um, 
God, there's so many characters I kind of want to talk about, but I feel like if we talk about them, we'll give too much away. I know. Well, I, I think- guess were you surprised at the end? Which part? <laughs> like multiple part. I guess multiple I parts. I, um, I was a little bit. Um, kind, I guess how By like everything one, tied together. Yeah. Yes. It, um, it came full circle, and you're like, whoa. I was not expecting all those moving parts to be. Yeah. You know. When Pauline sent that text yeah. at the end about yeah. like, yeah. this yes. is it. And yes. it was like at the same time, yeah. Harry Goat yeah. was like, oh, she's figured it out. Yeah. I was like, the same thing yeah. was in my head. I was like, oh my gosh, yeah. Pauline figured it out. Yeah. And then the thing happened, and it was like, oh, I didn't think it was that deep, yeah, but it all makes sense. Yeah, definitely. It's. But I also felt like Perry made a very good decision at yeah. the end. Mm-hmm. Like it was, I think yes. she found a good way to balance yes. everything. I did. I was very proud of her for that. I, for that. Yeah. I had like a little mom moment. I was like, yeah. again, I was like, I'm just proud of you. Yeah. <laughs> she was yeah. likable. She really was. I could um, see how she'll be unlikable to some people maybe, but I, I really, I really loved her. I did too. She's, uh, She's like, especially at that age, like what I wanted to be, but could never be because yeah. I just didn't have that confidence. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and I, I just, I loved how protective she was. And I felt all the side characters were really well. They were, they, fleshed they, they out. were fleshed out. Um, like I loved Eric. I loved Shanzi. Love Shanzi. Yeah. Oh gosh. I, um, I also love Cooper. Like I wish, I almost wish that he would have had like a little bit more page time because I really enjoyed him. I do too. And I loved that he was just a big nerd and had all the Star yeah. Wars references, um, but was also like very deliberate. Yes. And everything was very thought out. There was a reason yeah. for everything. And I thought that was interesting too, yeah. how everything, you know, you have this one character who's like, do what it takes no matter the cost. And yeah. you have Cooper who's like, no, there's a process. And yes, it's slow, but it will come to fruition. And it's like, Perry's kind of like, caught in the middle of that yeah and i i could very much see that happening in real life yeah 100 all, right. all right so that was warrior girl unearthed by angela and bully obviously alex and i really liked it and we could talk about this forever mm-hmm. but we'll wrap it up uh we do have copies of warrior girl unearthed available in our system that you can check out we also have the ebook and e-audio book on libby and for Firekeeper's Daughter, it really doesn't matter, by the way, which one you read first. I think you'll be good either way. And Angeline Bully, when I saw her, said she actually wrote them that way. So okay. you're good. Uh, but Firekeeper's Daughter, we do have as physical copies you can check out. We have the ebook and e audiobook on Libby and the e audiobook on Hoopla. So thanks for joining us this time. We will see y'all next month. Bye. Bye.